Hello and welcome to the computer lab. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a PNG and how to cut out an image using Paint 3D in Windows 10. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go down to the search box and type in Paint. And it's Paint 3D that we want. It is not the original Paint program that used to come with Windows 7, etc. So it's not that one. It is the Paint 3D that comes in Windows 10. Click on New, and then we should get a new canvas. Depending on what you've had open before, if you've already been in this program, it might be a different size canvas. So at this point, we're not really too fussed about the canvas size. We just want to drag our image in that we want to cut out. So I'm just going to open Windows File Explorer and go into my Pictures folder. And I have got an image in my general folder here, this wallpaper that I'm going to use to cut out. So drag in your image that you want to um, do your cut from. And I'm going to cut this um, bolt out that's in the middle on this particular image using the Magic Select. So go up to the top left-hand corner, click on Magic Select. You will get a bounding box around your image and then you drag that bounding box and the tags to the position that you want. So it's basically surrounding the image that you want to cut out from your original image. Then click on the next icon on the right and then you get some instructions as well on the right hand side. I'm going to leave auto fill background on so we can delete that out in a second. But my bounding box has already selected this sort of turquoise line around. Now to add in the bits that the box hasn't picked up on. We then just drag on, left click on the mouse and drag. And if we want to remove sections, sort of just underneath this cape here, you click on the remove icon in the top right hand corner and drag in the area that you want to remove. So I'm going to drag in there just one line and hopefully it'll do its magic, which it has. And you can see the blue turquoise line, that's the bit we're going to have. Now I'm not going to go around tidying this image fully up um, purely because it'll just take too long just to tidy it um, to get the small bits out of the image uh, but you can see the general thing what we're looking it's done a really good job actually on this particular image and click on done on the right hand side and now we should have our cut out of our image pre-selected so you saw it bounce there the image uh, and that is the actual image sort of lifting off the original canvas so i'll just try to get it zoomed so you can get a, a full picture to see what we're going what's going on let's zoom back in there we go, so we've got the canvas about that size. So I'm click on the bit that I want, and that's my image that is now cut out uh, from my original picture. And you can see it's tried to autofill the background. If I had left that box unticked, it would have just left a transparent bit in the middle. Left it on autofill, let me just drag that away off the canvas. So I'm idea now is to delete the black bit on my image. So I'll click on select all. You can see it's selected that bounding box, but it hasn't selected my bit that I've cut out. And now I can just right click on that, click on delete, that removes all that color. Now I can drag my cutout back in, which is great. I'm going to position it there. Um, and now I've got a couple of options now. I obviously want to save it. I could crop it if I want just to reduce the size, but I'm going to click on the save and then save as. So go up to the menu bar, click as save as. I'm going to save as an image. Okay, so now we've got a couple of options again that we need to make sure we have ticked and unticked. So I need to make sure transparency is ticked and you'll see straight away it creates the transparent background um, you can do the aspect ratio or not um, depending on if you want a bounding box around it doesn't really matter if you're dragging it into another image um, it shouldn't really have any effect on it unless you've left something on the sides of the image which might get caught in the in the process um, so that's why you do and you can resize your aspect ratio but if you do it here you'll notice it, it squeezes everything down um, it does your actual the background and everything so uh, the way to get around that is to actually crop the image or resize it at this point. So if I click on crop and then reduce the sides down on here, um, I then get sort of a squarish shape. But once you get it into the rough size that you want, just click on the return or the enter key on your keyboard and that will save it in the crop size. And we need to go up to the top left hand corner where it says menu, click on menu again, click on save as, click on image. Uh, again back to this menu it's, you can see the width and the height have changed click on transparency and then make sure you save as type as a PNG in the top right and then bottom right hand corner click on save put it into the folder that you want and I'm just going to call this I'll just call it test 2 um, again it is a PNG so now we have saved the file in Windows File Explorer let's minimize these down 
Um, and I've just got a Photoshop open here, just so we a blue background so we can see when we drag the image in. So I'll just open my File Explorer, find the file we've just saved, Test 2, drag that in, and there's our image without the black background. So a really nice tool, a really clever tool really for considering these, um, it's built inbuilt into Windows 10. Um, really good way of removing backgrounds and how to create PNGs uh, in Windows 10. Uh, there's also another trick obviously if you haven't got an image you're working from and you're wanting to create an actual PNG um, this if you're really good at drawing then you can draw yourself one but I'm just going to pre-select um, one of the stickers that comes in built into paint 3d so I'm just going to make a small um, image up here using these items uh, like I say and we're going to create this uh, sort of clip art really and then save this with a transparent background so if I wanted to use this picture that I'm sort of creating now in another document uh, and I wanted to create an overall image with these cut out PNGs uh, then this is the way to do it like I say I'm using predefined ones you might have downloaded some off the internet uh, you might have drawn them yourself uh, but either way I'm just dragging the stickers in um, off the predefined ones like I say in this paint program Okay, so once I've got these laid out, pretty much how I want them to do, click on the tick. Okay, so now I'm at the same position sort of that I was with the previous one that we cut out of the actual picture. So back up to menu, click as save as, click on image. In fact, no, I forgot to put the transparent background on, so I'm just going to cancel that section. I need to go up to canvas at the top, click on canvas, and then in here I need to make sure transparent canvas is selected. So I'll tick that on. Then we get our transparent background, then up to menu, save as, and I can go to the image, and we're going to save it as an image. Make sure it's PNG in the save as type. Give it a name and click on save. That's the file saved as a PNG with a transparent background. Open the Photoshop that I was using, pick the image up that I've just created clouds drag it in and you can see there there's the image with a transparent background you can see the outline for the bounding box is slightly larger but that shouldn't affect the image or the image quality when you drag it in it's just that the bounding box is slightly bigger uh, because we didn't crop it out like we did with the previous image okay so that's it that's how to create a png for free using built-in tools in windows 10 and also how to cut out an image and convert that into a png I hope you liked the video. If you did, please do hit the subscribe button. Also, give us a big thumbs up and a like down below. Any comments below are always appreciated. And please do hit the bell icon if you want to be alerted to any new videos that I create. Thanks again for watching The Computer Lab.